Hello! Welcome back! I'm Astrid and today I wanted to do my take on the is it a fit or is she just pretty slash skinny slash famous? We're gonna go with is it a fit or is she just famous? Let's just dive right in. I feel like this doesn't really need an explanation. So the first outfit that I wanted to recreate is this. It's Bella Hadid and it's basically just like a black collared shirt, very deep neck. We've got some fun jewelry going on, very 90s. Also the glasses, I'm not sure actually what it's conveying to me, but let's recreate. When I saved it on Pinterest, there are some there are some comments that say uh, waitress call, which I think is very accurate, as well as this is literally me going to my shift at Olive Garden. And I 100% agree in that in one of my waitressing jobs, I quite literally wore something like this. Less fun though, but let's try. Okay, do I look like a waitress? I think I do. I don't have a necklace that's black. This is the closest thing I have, so I'm just gonna put this on. It's fun because it's a front closure. Don't have to turn it around. Okay, so pretty similar. Now let's let's see what it looks like from afar. Okay, I don't have, I have other pants that I'm gonna put with them, but I thought I'd just try this out first, given that this is a free experiment where we're just gonna do whatever we want. Okay, so I've got like these velour tracksuits that I pretty much live in because they're just comfy and warm. And Melbourne is, it's supposed to be summer here, but it's cold. So this is fun. I like it. It definitely is giving waitress. Although when I did wear something like this, my pants did not look as fun as these. At least we are moving up on and up in the world. <laughs> but now let's try it with the more similar pants that I do have and maybe some boots. I just wanted to give you a boot preview. These are the boots we're putting on. Okay, I'm gonna finish putting them on now. This is feeling less waitery already. Waiters don't wear boots. So let's see what it looks like. <sighs> what do we think? What do we think? I think it looks cute. Now let's recreate her pick. She's holding something. She's holding a blazer. I don't have a dark colored blazer with me. So let's just hold my pants. <clears throat> let's see. I'm just walking, I'm just walking. With the pants, with the blazer. Okay. I feel like we get the point. Let's move on. <laughs> but wait, the consensus is I think we like it. I think it is way to call, but I think it's less way to call with boots and accessories. Okay, let's move on. Okay, before we move on, I've just had a look at the outfit in the other mirror. And you know what? I think it's still giving way to call, but it's giving floor manager call. It's giving, yes, we're in the restaurant, but we are maybe telling people what to do and then fixing all their problems. Okay, floor manager call. It's a new, it's a new call. Now we can move on. Okay, next, we're going to try another Bella outfit. I'm going to pop it up here. It's pretty simple, but I think when I was saving them, I was kind of thinking, what do I, what have I, what can't I really, what haven't I worn much? <laughs> Which is really easy to find things to save, but then obviously I don't have the exact same clothing. We're going with basically turtleneck pants, boots. I rarely wear boots. I really just wear sneakers and like just anything that's flat. I just can't do it. But maybe one day. Maybe this will make me want to wear my boots more. So this was the top. I literally don't have any yellow clothes. This was the closest thing I could find. Ugh. It's just a turtleneck. So let's put this on and we'll pop on some jeans. I'm going to show you with these pants on first because I've still got them on. So let's do that. Let's get changed. Okay. The turtleneck is on. Let me slide out of the way so that I can stand up. So this is, I'm pretty sure I've worn this to work before. Not, not much to say. It looks fine. I have worn this, so it's kind of a bit of a fail in that regard. It's just mainly because I don't have a yellow top. But yeah, this is a fun outfit. I need to stop doing that. I just like don't know what to do with my foot. Also, does this make it better? I don't think so. Okay, we'll just leave it off. I would definitely wear this already, but let's try it with the jeans and see if maybe it's, I think, I think a lot of it just depends on which pants you wear and like you're comfortable with. I have certain pants that I don't wear if I'm like super bloated because I don't feel comfortable in them. So maybe that's why I don't wear my low rise jeans much. Or if I do, it has to like go with the right top. It's just all very specific, so. 
Yeah. Okay, before I show you the full outfit, can we just take a moment to appreciate the butt? As in, not my butt, but the diamantes. Are they showing? They're definitely showing. Okay, and also, so is my freaking underwear. I'm wearing, like, grandma undies today because, because they're comfy. <laughs> Anyways, so. This is recording. Yes, it is. It's fine, but I am remembering that these jeans shrink a lot when they wash and then they kind of unshrink as you wear them with the bag on because she's got a crossbody bag in the picture and yeah you know what i don't know why like why you wouldn't wear this there's nothing it's not really that extravagant it's just a normal freaking outfit i think i would already wear this but the boots definitely just like elevate it and make it look more dressy i don't want to say without trying because i i just to me wearing boots is a lot more of an effort than wearing sneakers because I like being flat on the ground. The other thing about this was I think the drink makes it look more fun because it's green. And I don't have a matcha latte, but I do have a green drink bottle. I can't freaking see from this distance. It doesn't really work. Okay, I'm going to put my phone down. I'm just going to pretend to walk. I don't know why I'm trying to recreate the pictures. This is not the point of the video, but we're going to do it anyways, okay? my microphone um i did actually just get a kombucha out of the fridge so maybe that's a bit more fitting <laughs> anyways um the other thing that i forgot to bring to where i'm filming was sunnies and we have these sunnies that someone has left here they're all right they're all right <laughs> I don't love them on me, but it's at least a pair of sunnies on me. Okay, we're gonna move on. Actually, we're just gonna change our top. Okay, I'm back. And this isn't sleeveless like um, Bella's top, but it's super cute. And I actually like that it reminded me that I had this. Okay, it's, let's just show it first. Ah, oh, if I can get up. It's giving Rachel from Friends is what it's giving me i think it's another one of those pieces that's kind of like fuck i need to stop sitting down like this that is awkward because you want to wear you don't want to be hot or cold okay so i think that's why i don't wear it that much um bag options i think brown is cute kind of clashes or like maybe it like morphs into the I think it was like maybe last year or the year before where there were all these predictions about people wearing multiple bags and I actually was really here for it. <laughs> it was like a runway prediction. So it was based on like something that's not very practical or functional. But I actually kind of like was hoping that it would happen so that you could wear like one mini bag here and then like carry another one here and then like and then also have a little purse. So, you know, you'd go out like this. But then, if you think about it, that's just kind of how, like... I feel like even though I have bags full of stuff, I'm just still carrying things. Anyways, that was a bit off topic, but yeah. I think we like this one. I think it's nice that it reminded me I could wear this. Maybe I can wear it in Melbourne right now, considering the weather's confusing as fuck. Yeah, and I think the drink just, like, makes it look fun. I think that's half the bloody appeal of the picture. And yeah, I wish I brought my sunnies. Um, I don't... These were at least something, but... Um, didn't really do it for me, but overall loving it. It's a bit, you know, it's a simple outfit You can't really hate it if you have clothes that are comfy and fit you and look like this like Perfect. You should wear them together. Okay. Let's do the next one. Hey <laughs> Okay, so I forgot to introduce this next one and I didn't want to fully give it away this picture I'll put it up here is I guess an Australian. Is it really dark in here now? Sorry Fuck the light is changing. Okay. Anyways an Australian influencer called Maggie. I'll put a thing here, go read stuff that she writes. I saved this because I thought, well, I have all those elements, but I just don't wear that. And I thought it was great, a great little reminder that you've probably got plenty of pieces in your wardrobe that you just haven't combined. It's kombucha time as well. Oh my God. Oh, you just haven't combined them in a specific way. Yum really needed that but yeah great reminder that you can mix and <laughs> match your clothes that you don't um, usually wear together so i've got and it's not exactly the same as hers but i have this beautiful white shirt that i'm wearing right now and i just never wear it because i always feel overdressed when i wear a shirt 
because of the sleeves and you'll see what I mean in a minute. Anyways, and a skirt and boots. So, reveal. <laughs> it's giving, what the fuck is the collar doing? Okay, it looks better. It'll look better when I stand up. Anyways, it has these like cool, I feel like if you have to defend it, then it, I'll just stand up and we can have a look. But I'll put my boots on first. I kind of want to know what this looks like. So I'm going to put my glasses on and also, Maggie has glasses, but let's see what this looks like. Obviously, my skirt length, her shirt comes down a bit further, which I kind of like. The back looks fine, I feel. Yeah. I feel like I do wish this came down further. I probably have a shirt somewhere that does come down further. But overall, I do really like it. And let me put my stupid phone down so you can see the sleeves without me fluffing around everywhere. Um, the other thing is her buttons are done all the way up, so maybe we could do that too. And I think it will just be completed with a bag. I think sometimes what's missing is just an accessory. I, think I like it. I'm just not used to seeing my legs. It's been a while. It's been very cold in Melbourne. Um, and obviously you could also wear this with sneakers, which I probably, I would more likely wear it with sneakers than boots, depending on where I'm going. But yeah, I do really like it. I think it's a really achievable outfit. Everyone probably has a white shirt. Um, hers has like a cool corsetti waist button thing. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I feel like it's an easy to achieve look. Um, we'll quickly talk about the next one that I wanted to try, which is Flex Mummy. She used to be in Bobo and Flex, an Australian influencer slash entrepreneur slash just heaps of stuff. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to recreate something not exactly her outfit, but something inspired by it. She tends to dress very colorfully, lots of colors, whereas I dress very black and white and actually a lot of brown. So I thought it would be a fun way to just get something in there with color. And so I don't have something super similar, but I tried to just get the most bright colored cloth clothing piece that I have. So let me just go pop that on. Okay, so this is my most colorful top, vibrant color top that I have. Got this little cute tie, stays together. I don't have any like printed singlets, so this is the best that we're gonna get. Mm. And then I'm just wearing a black skirt, but the other part of being colorful in this image <laughs> and something that Flex, that sounds like I'm like her friend Flex, and something that she wears a lot is like a scarf in her hair, you know? But like I've picked them out of my wardrobe and then I remembered that when I saved this photo I still had long hair so we're gonna see if I can put this in my hair maybe this one's better in a different way maybe I can just put it like a little bow peep oh my gosh this is not going to like make this go down look I don't think that's what it's meant to look like <laughs> What the fuck is that meant to look like? I need to look it up. Right. I mean, it kind of worked, but I don't know. I feel like a sailor. There's some pictures like this. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. We're just gonna... I was gonna also think of like tying it around here, but I think it's giving flight attendant. But it looks like people are doing it. They're just going like that. And then it's just working, but it's not working for me. But anyways, this is... Let's pretend this is in my head. Fuck, I forgot I walked away with my mic. I'm so sorry. But yeah. Okay, basically, this is the fit. I wanted to do Crocs because Flex wears Crocs all the time. But I forgot to bring them. Anyway, so let's pretend this is in my hair. I think it's a fun way to spice up your outfit. If you have long hair, this is easier. But I, one of my friends always like manages to tie it into her hair and she has like my length hair so it's obviously just something i'm not very good at but you can you know like it's a it's an option you could obviously also just wear like a white sneaker or a black sneaker not too much more to say i do actually have this other cardigan thing which i thought was a bit on brand as in i don't think flex would wear the exact same thing by any means but just in terms of being really colorful i feel like i'm gonna put it on and show you guys <laughs> okay goodbye it's just basically the most colorful cardigan in the world. I bought it when I was like 15 or something, but I wish that it was like a jumper rather than a cardigan. How silly is that? Like cardigans were very grandma -y before and now they're not. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting really lazy with the shoe situation. Should I put my shoe on? You know what? I can't be fucked. <laughs> this is a combination of this and this. And I think it's fun. I think it's 
it's just very colorful and I'm not used to it for myself. I just don't wear much color, but I'm not hating it. Um, I am preempting that I will feel bloated wearing this outfit. I'm very mixed feelings about tight clothing. I probably literally didn't wear tight clothing for like, I don't know how long. I tend to wear like something tight and then something loose. I know this is just a lot of like body hugging for me, but I don't hate it. I think it's fun and I think maybe we can work these back into my wardrobe. Like I wear this skirt with like a big baggy tee is what I would normally wear. But why the fuck shouldn't I wear it with this colorful thing? Okay. I was about to be really lazy and take off everything, but I felt like what the fuck is the point of me putting on all the clothes and then not putting the shoes on. So here are the, oh, got hair in my, in my eye. Here are the boots. Oh, and the other thing was a bag. So yeah, we're really not inventing anything new here. It's just a fun way. Play with the clothes you already have. I prefer this one. You feel bored of your outfits. I need to kneel. Oh, fuck, it's tiring walking back and forth with no one in the room. Haha, uh -huh. thumbnail. Anyways, if you feel like you're bored of your clothes, this is actually a pretty good way to reimagine combinations of clothing. I did this video because I saw another one that just made me laugh a lot by iCharlie. I'll put her thingo up there. And I just thought, wow, you know, I've seen so many of these videos on TikTok and YouTube and all the rest, but this one was just really funny. And I just felt like it just made me want to make one. So what it actually did was kind of help me recreate different outfit combinations based on clothing that I already have, inspired by outfits that I do like. Because obviously I do actually like all of these outfits that I'm showing you and it's fun to like recreate it in a way without just going and buying the same clothes. Like I think we're a bit past that as in we all love buying stuff, but if you can kind of achieve the same energy <laughs> with stuff that you already have, it'll be more you. Like you can't really be fully individual but because just because everyone has you know trends trend all over the world now they don't trend in different countries yeah i think recreating stuff in this way is good this kind of sounds like an outro but i think i have one or two more things so let's have a sus of those i'm gonna show you both of them the first next one that i wanted to try was this which is devon and bella devon's outfits a lot more things that i already have or maybe not really it's more just like it's a black jacket and black pants and that's like what i already wear but um so in that case i wanted to try bella's so i need to change again i'm really sick of taking boots on and off but we're gonna do it okay because i was still wearing the skirt and i just couldn't yet be bothered to take it off um i thought i would just test out oh my god the freaking doors open with this black skirt boots and white shirt underneath but i think it's kind of just like a corporate outfit with a slit like it's i'm not loving it also the shirt length um isn't quite long enough okay i'm back um my camera died and it is a bit more charged now i feel like i'm about to go out for a cigarette you know like that's what it reminds me of I don't hate it. I think the bag would also change a lot of how it looks. This definitely makes it a bit more casual, like a bit less corporate, but it's still very corporate. The other thing I did want to try in the picture, Bella's wearing jeans and she has like this colorful jumper on and I don't really have like a colorful sweater vest. So I was thinking I would just try that other colorful cardigan I have. So I'm going to try that. Okay, I actually don't hate it. I can't see it in the camera, but I do have a mirror here. It's doing something interesting. We're going to put the blazer back on and see. I probably wouldn't actually ever wear this out because I would just think that it was going to fall off. Okay, tell me why I don't hate it. I'm not super sure why some differences with this and bella's version the sleeves like hers would look a lot better if the cuffs came out i can kind of pull them out a bit but they don't really stick out and i think half of the reason that i like it is because the shirt actually sticks out of the of the sleeves and then same thing with the collar like it's not a very it doesn't really complement this blazer shape but i think like the concept here is a bit fun i don't think the blazer is this really doing it any justice but i think colorful something over a white shirt like the, that concept is fun i'm gonna put the jeans on now because that's kind of like what the whole point was so let's see if that looks better it probably will okay fuck i just said a bunch of stuff but it wasn't actually filming let's put this back on obviously it's a lot more casual with the jeans and again 
you know, this isn't actually a bodice, but you get the concept. It's something colorful. It's not a bodice or a sweater vest, but who's to say you can't wear it like this? <laughs> Much more casual. I also thought I'd put on my sneakers just to have something else on. It's a fun combination. Obviously, you would be thinking less about this falling down if it was actually a sweater vest or a top or something. But the concept is fun. But also just this is cute in itself, right? It's just a white shirt and jeans and a bag. It's a lot more simple. But the other thing was you could put on... Just like a grey sweater vest. I just didn't want to do that because it wasn't colourful. But anyways, let's try the... There's one more. Okay, there's one more. Okay, we're back. We have a leopard top like Devon's. Um, I don't have like a red bomber jacket, leather... I don't know why I did this. <laughs> don't have a jacket like that. Don't have anything red. And yeah, there's not a whole lot to it, but I think uh, Devon would be a fun inclusion just because she wears lots of not really like crazy outfits, but like a lot of them kind of look like things that I would have worn or we all would have worn when we were when we were little. Like just very kind of playful, childy clothes. Not in a bad way at all, but as in things that I just probably wouldn't normally wear anymore. But it's also like, why shouldn't you? If it's comfy and you like it. I feel like a mum. Like I feel like I'm like 50 but I'm myself, but I'm 50 as well. I don't know why. Come on kids, like, it's time to go home from, it's time to go home from the party. Get in the car. Um, again, I don't really love tight and tight. The straps, there's a lot going on as well. But I did actually want to see what it looked like with this on, considering it's the only jacket that I have, so let's just try it on. Okay, I'm gonna have a look in the mirror. I actually really like this for some reason. Obviously, if you wore like a different color blazer, maybe some people would prefer that. Like some people would prefer probably just like a black blazer, but I actually quite like this because this is one of my staple blazers. Usually when I wear these pants, I'll wear like just a white singlet, these jeans and this blazer. So for me, this is like a little bit familiar and I actually do quite like it. Anyway, so, I didn't get to do all of the outfits that I planned on doing today just because some of them I couldn't find things that would like substitute in well enough it was kind of like it just didn't really basically not the same outfit at all but hopefully next time I'll be able to include some of the ones that didn't get included today if I figure out an alternative piece they can go with yeah like I kind of already said before I think this is actually a really good way to recreate <clears throat> create new outfits out of my existing wardrobe because basically I just saved outfits that I thought were interesting but also that I questioned whether they just looked good because the person who was wearing them was well known or famous or whatever yeah recreating it with things that you already have um, is actually quite fun because it's automatically gonna put a bit of your own spin on it because you're recreating it with your own clothes buying things is fun but if you like something you don't have to copy it you don't have to recreate the outfit exactly as it is like it doesn't need to be the same exact brand or the same exact pattern or cut or whatever i think that figuring out a way to do it with your own stuff is even more fun and don't have to get anything new so oh i'm so tired from talking anyways so i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope to make more hope to make more videos like this i also like quite a lot of other pictures that i did save were bella hadid so i might do another one with just her for some reason she just wears like slightly more weird outfits or maybe it was just the pinterest algorithm just giving me more of the same type of thing so maybe it wasn't just that it's her but a lot of celebrities and influencers do wear very similar outfits um, unless it's for like a super special occasion so you know there's only so many clothes in the world but I do think it's nice to recreate things that are more every day you know I'm not gonna go and make a hot couture video because who's gonna wear that who's got the time or money or places to wear that anyways that's really just irrelevant right now but yeah I hope you liked it and if you liked this video please like comment or subscribe or all of the above would be even better and i hope to see you soon i'm gonna go and stop talking now i'm so tired of talking goodbye